Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's the weekly energy. We're looking at the astrology for the week ahead and we're going to do a tarot spread as well to see what wants to come out, if there's any messages for anybody who's watching. It's the first week of April, April 3rd through the 9th. Um, April is generally characterized as, and I'm going back to my Illuminated Love Oracle deck. I'm pulling one card of these for each month of this year. And this month we have crystalline activation. You are in the midst of an evolutionary metamorphosis. At this, as this transformation occurs, it amplifies your capacity to create, engage interdimensionally into it and perceive beyond the limitations of time and space. This upgrade requires increased self-responsibility, physical self-care and awareness of your thoughts, actions, emotions, and intent, as you are becoming an amplifier transmitting frequencies to which you attune. It is natural that some level of discomfort may be experienced with this upgrade, so please remember that you can ask for support. If challenging emotions or thoughts arise, acknowledge them by bringing them to the light of your consciousness. As you do, you amplify the frequency of the awakened, loving, awareness rather than the frequency of the challenging experience. Be gentle, dear one, and soften into the spacious stillness to meet yourself anew in each moment. Care for yourself as you are today rather than who you have known yourself to be in the past. April is the first month of quarter two. If you remember, the first quarter was all about um, uh, very similar themes of like being stripped of your illusion of who you thought you were and just sort of discovering new things about yourself. It was a self-discovery phase. You are not who you thought you were. This is great news. See yourself as new in each moment as you encounter the miraculous, the unexpected. You are learning more about your soul's purpose and how to experience life in a new way. Quarter two then, I'm calling you new senses. There's There's people awakening to their intuition. There's people awakening to new senses that they have. Um, you know, clairvoyancy, clairaudience, clairsentience, whatever. Our senses are being developed. We are getting upgrades, y'all. So what are you tapping into? What are you tuning into? What's becoming real for you, real and tangible for you? It may be happening this month, in the month of April. So the first week, we're um, experiencing the full moon in Libra. So it is an intense time. Um were maybe coming into an energy of wanting or needing to surrender to who we really are. Do not be afraid to be who you really are. Many people are waking up this month, connecting with each other on an intellectual, in, I'm calling this intellectual intimate manner. This is the way in which to connect with others this week and in general over, over the course of the month. An increased, uh, Mercury moves in the Taurus, first thing, uh, Monday. There's an increased awareness of um, thorough communication, learning, and thinking. Uh, Mercury square Pluto. There's a choice to do things differently or the same. Um, there may be some trouble with expression. There's plenty of opportunities to transform and change the way you think. They are everywhere, but you need to be aware of the choice and make it intentionally. Then we have the full moon at midnight, essentially, central time. Do not be afraid to be who you really are. It's at 16 degrees Libra. Do you have any planets or aspects in your birth chart at 16 degrees? If so, this is really important. If so, you have been triggered every full moon, except for save maybe like a small handful for the last two years. I know this because my son is in 16 degrees Capricorn. So I don't wonder anymore why I'm <laughs> doing astrology, well, why I got a tarot and astrology and all this stuff. Like I'm discovering this stuff, but also it's been like affecting me without me knowing it. You know, 16 degrees Capricorn, which is a cardinal, which is by the way, cardinal sign, right? So is Libra, cardinal air. We know that to be 90 degree separation or um, four signs apart right? Yeah, four signs apart, 90 degrees, square. Choices. Mm -hmm. It's a challenging um, aspect, but I'm not going to get into 
uh, my personal stuff, but just as an example of why that's important. Figure out what you have in 16 degrees in your chart if you do. The Sun is conjunct Chiron and Mars uh, sextile node. So a lot of us are going for it. They're waking up as in coming into, what did I write? A deeper realization of self and their ego. This is a time to research motives, why we do things, getting a little lost, and that's okay. Learn to not just use your brain. Listen to your heart, your gut. Pay attention to how you feel around different people and the different places that you're at. Again, we're waking up to different senses. Don't just say, you know, someone is a bad person because you don't feel good around them or that you can't trust them. Remember, everything is a mirror. What is it saying about your intent, your desire, your action for you to want somebody around you, for you to desire certain things, certain success, a certain look, you know, a certain kind of life? You see what you perceive. In fact, you are seeing what you perceive in the world. And Mercury sextile Mars, um, this is a transit that shows up twice because Mercury goes retrograde at the end of the month. So Mercury sextile Mars, this is, this is about thinking fast, analytical. This is really good for excellent research. Um, if you're doing the work and you're going to deep, deep, dive deeper into who you are, this is the time to do it. It is not the time necessarily to approach others with your issues wanting some sort of resolution, wanting somebody else's validation, wanting something to click. If it's not clicking, you let it be and you, f and you get to the bottom of why you feel the way that you do and what it is that you're awakening to within yourself in that manner. We're going to have another chance, again, because this comes up, um, the same transit comes up in the fourth week, the final week of um, April. <laughs> My mind's going blank. In the final week of April. And that's when we get to readdress these things. But I think primarily for this month, we are looking at ourselves we are opening ourselves to the world and our place in it. I'll just finish reading my notes here and then we'll get into our tarot spread. Oh uh, yeah, think about your motives and desires. It's important to remember not everyone has the same motives and desires. If you are choosing to connect with someone, be aware of yourself and maybe ask the question, you know, if you're if you're if you are in a collaboration, let's say in a serious relationship or a friendship that is being worked on at this time, I mean, I, I don't advise having very serious um, what do I want to say about that? This is not a time to be confrontational um, unless you're confronting yourself first. So um, if you, but if you are in the position of having important conversations with other people, as we are like in work, in life, in love, um, make sure you're asking the questions instead of just assuming that someone is there for the same reasons that you are. Ask them, what do you want out of this? What, what are you hoping to get out of this? So that you can have clarity amongst yourselves of where everybody's at and what, um, how, how your collaborative effort can serve the whole. Um, I believe we should we should orient all everyone involved should orient in this way. If they're not, then you know, then there's selfishness, there's assumptions, there's ego, um, and things are a little unclear. And yeah, especially because it's the full moon. In Libra, seventh house partnerships. This is why I say what I what I say, and um, the moon is you know so the moon is in Libra, and moves into Scorpio by the end of the week. We're sort of having like a I guess a Scorpio moon weekend. It can be intense. It can be an, an intense week. So 
I think the positive aspects of this week is that um, it, it may be a good time to slow down um, if you're into learning and research. It doesn't have to be about yourself, I guess, but since if you're here, then likely you are. Just go through the week slowly and notice what comes up for you um, and what, what, com what comes up inside of you as you experience the world externally. Let me just take some notes. Um, all right, let's get into the tarot. Extraordinary senses. Trust those feelings. Maybe some, but some of you are going to open up to more like dream work as well. Um, if you're out of touch with somebody, for example, or if you don't talk to somebody very often, or if you feel that somebody is not being direct with you, um, trust that if they show up in your dream and you have a certain feeling about how they're appearing, you know, eight of wands underneath. I don't know if you can see it. That's my validation. We're ready to begin. I'm sticking to my new spread. Well, it's not a new spread, but it's new to this channel. I'm using my direction spread. Um, hopefully this will connect with somebody who's feeling um, a certain way. We're going to identify what that way is and then take, take it around the clock, the journey to see where we're going. This is the direction spread. Okay, the lovers showing up. So where you think you are, the lovers or a Gemini, or if you have Gemini in your chart. The Hierophant. So where are, where do you think you are? Where do you think you are? The lovers, a choice. This is a gem, this is Gemini energy. So there's Mercury again, showing up. Mercury is uh, communication, intelligence, intellect. Uh, we do remember, we do have some uh, positive transits with Mercury this week. Um, and it is entering Taurus. And then we see where are you really is Hierophant, which is Taurus. We have Gemini and Taurus here. So where do you think you are at a choice point, perhaps? Where are you really? Um, I think in a more esteemed position and maybe not esteemed, but um, you have a lot more power than you think that you do, um, as in to use your voice. Um, more influential on a spiritual level um, here. I think people look up to you. Hmm. Okay, well, what is the challenge you now face? Oh. The moon. Your subconscious. Something, something appearing from the subconscious, something unknown, or something to be revealed. What's working? Not Lodi. Ace of Cups. What's working is that you're pouring a lot of love into yourself. You're doing the work. You're nurturing yourself. And maybe you are. Maybe you are in this place of self-nurturance. Um, and therefore not taking a lot of action as of yet, because I don't see action here. But you are in a place, in a, in a fortunate place to take action if you feel inspired by something. If you feel that something moves you, you should let it, if the spirit moves you. Like the Hierophant is, you know, like the spiritual leader who is, who's an orator and is speaking, preaching. What is the spiritual lesson you now face? What's the spiritual lesson here? What chapter are we in? Come on. Spiritual lesson you now face. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Page of Cups is about expecting the unexpected. The spiritual lesson you now face is opening yourself up to realizing there can be an unexpected outcome. Are you over planning? Are you over planning something? Are you so, are you gripping tightly onto, I mean, is this the Ace of Cups? 
Page is similar to Ace Energy. Yeah, Page is similar to Ace Energy, but they're different too. So I think the spiritual lesson here is about playfulness as well, is embracing more playfulness or... Um, it could also be immaturity, you know, not um, having like a naivety about our emotions mm, where they can get the better of us from time to time. And so it's about seeing things in perspective. It's about putting that mirror back on yourself and not on what somebody else is doing necessarily. Uh, what's the next position? How do you show up for this lesson? How do, how do you, oh, how should we show up for this lesson? The sun, I knew that. I kind of felt that was gonna come out. It came out earlier. It's been playing with us. The sun again is positivity, radiance. There's a baby here. Let's keep it light. It's still, this is the time to keep it light. Don't be so serious. We are investigating deep inner truths and like this could be serious subject matter but, or it could be more like fun and exploratory and um, don't be hard on yourself at this point. Are you, you know, do you, where are you now? Where you think you are is the lovers. The lovers can be construed as like a critical choice point. It's this or that. There's duality here, but I think that there's um, there's more gray area than we think, and we're multidimensional. We're multifaceted. We're multi-talented. I think it could help to talk about what you're experiencing. Um, at least if you talk about it, then then there's a chance that you may find other people here feel similarly or even if you're not discussing things directly with another person you may have the ability to influence others in a positive way to orient towards self-love and self-exploration that's what i'm seeing here uh, where are you going show me where are you going one card please one card King of Pentacles, yes. King of Pentacles, um, lots of wealth, lots of success, uh, lots of power. So I think you, you are reaching for empowerment. Uh, the King of Pentacles is so wealthy, he's incredibly generous as well. He spill, his, his wealth spills over into everything around him, into his kingdom. He looks like he's wearing like a robe made of grapes. Can't remember what the grapes symbolize, but I think it also represents wealth, <laughs> luxury. Oh, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Just wanting to pop out there. How will you get there? Happiness, contentment. You know, this really feels like, you know, the power is here. Okay, I know this song now. The song's gonna be a very chill song, maybe a meditative song. Mm, something that, oh yeah, especially to listen to for the full moon, to settle into just ex into the feeling of, of acceptance of the way that things are, realize that the way that things are is okay. There's nothing necessarily that needs to change or shift, but that for you to go through the motion of this experience and to feel content with what is, be content and happy and joyful um, when, when you can in your emotions and realize that you're attracting wealth and abundance, you, what did it say? What did it say? As you are becoming an amplifier, you transmit frequencies to which you attune. What are you attuning to? What are you, what do you catch yourself speaking about, thinking about, feeling about more often times than not? You're, you, you, unintentionally or intentionally attuned to those things. This is why it's saying, this upgrade requires increased self-responsibility, physical self-care and awareness of your thoughts, actions, emotions, and intent. Take it seriously. Final card. Oh, 
again the collaboration card. It's showing up in the reverse here. Um, so, so maybe, like I said, this is not necessarily the time to be checking up on other people, um, looking at other people, comparing yourself to other people. You are exactly as where you should be, as you should be, having your life and upgrade experience and trust that so is everyone else and trust that whatever you're, you're going through and whatever they're going through is necessary for there to eventually be another union or um, for simply for things to go in the direction that they need to go. Um, that's all I can say. Um, yeah, because there, there isn't, this was the only card that showed any other kind of um, other energy. Threes is third party energy, right? This could be about work, this could be about love, it could be about anything. But just given the astrology and the energy of the week, I would not, I would try to not worry so much about that. Go learn something new, do something new. Discover more about what moves you and start there. Next week we'll have an, you know, Come back next week for another read on the, on next week's videos or you know the following week's videos um, and energies. Um, this is astrology for the week ahead. And um, yeah, check out the song. Check out the song. Do you want to know what I'm doing this week? I'm gonna go get lifeguard training. Why? Life skills. Life skills. I hope that I never have to use them, but if I do. I will be prepared. I'm a Capricorn. I'm always going to be prepared, even if I'm not prepared. I trust that everything I need is already within me. Um, and anyway, luck is mostly preparedness, right? So maybe on that note, how are you preparing yourself for the version of you you want to be, the version of you you are evolving into? There's definitely some transmutation going on here. Um, and I think a lot of need to meet whatever is coming up from the subconscious to meet that with a lot of lightness and love for self and realizing that you are powerful and you do have what it takes to turn whatever that is, whatever has been ignored or dejected within you, even resented, for that to be a welcome piece of you and for, and for you to be like, that was me, that that is and was me, but I am becoming something else. I'm becoming somebody else. I'm no longer this way. And that could be your choice if you are aware that you have that choice. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.